Hello! Today we are going to explore estimating solutions. And who better to learn how to estimate solutions from than a talking cookie? What does it mean to estimate solutions? Estimating a solution refers to when you have a problem and you want to figure out about what number your answer will be. You usually do it when you don't need an exact number. And you want to be able to use mental math to quickly arrive at your answer. For example, shopping. One way to estimate solutions is to use rounding. You can use rounding to determine the nearest 10 or 100 to estimate a sum or difference. For example, take 328 plus 43. If we round to the nearest 10, 328 rounds to 330, and 43 rounds to 40, those numbers are much easier to add. 330 plus 40, that equals 370. So that means 328 plus 43 is about 370. Let's try 918 minus 183. We could round 918 to 900 and then round 183 to 200. Then, if we subtract 900 minus 200, we get 700. So that means 918 minus 183 is about 700. These answers aren't exact, but it lets us quickly and mentally get really close to the right answer. Let's check out this word problem. Maria bought 548 ounces of orange juice and 203 ounces of apple juice. How many more ounces of orange juice did Maria buy than apple juice? Well, to solve this, I would have to subtract 548 minus 203. I can't do that in my head. So let me estimate. 548 rounds to 550 and 203 rounds to 200. So if I subtract 550 minus 200, I get 350. So I know the answer to this problem is somewhere around 350. Another way we can estimate solutions is by using compatible numbers. Compatible numbers is a useful strategy when adding more than two add-ends, or typically a long list of numbers. With this strategy, you look for two or three numbers that can be combined to create 10 or 100 to make it easier to determine an estimate. For example, when adding 18 plus 39 plus 71 plus 27 plus 78 plus 62, I can estimate the sum by combining numbers that estimate to 100. 18 and 78, those should be close to 100. 39 and 62, those will be near 100. 71 and 27, those two would add up to close to 100. So that's three hundreds. So this list must add to somewhere around 300. Let's try this method on a word problem. Ivan went to the grocery store for two minutes on Monday, eight minutes on Tuesday, 48 minutes on Thursday, and 55 minutes on Saturday. How many minutes altogether did Ivan spend at the grocery store this week? Ivan must really love grocery shopping. Let's see. We want to add up all the minutes Ivan spent at the store. So that would be 2 plus 8 plus 48 plus 55. And 2 and 8 would give us 10. And 48 and 55 would give us close to 100. And 10 plus 100 equals 110. So he must have spent about 110 minutes at the store this week. Estimating solutions is important because it allows you to check if your answer is reasonable and it can help you stay on budget when shopping. So use it whenever you want to approximate answers and happy shopping!